हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द जायंट सेल ट्यूमर द जायंट सेल ट्यूमर इज आल्सो कॉल्ड हैज ऑस्टियोक्लास्टोमा सो इफ यू सी इन द जायंट सेल ट्यूमर और ऑस्टियोक्लास्टोमा वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दिस इज एक्चुअली द मोस्ट कॉमन ट्यूमर विच इज सीन अराउंड द नी जॉइंट दैट इज इट इज मोस्ट कॉमनली सीन इन डिस्टल फीमर मोर देन द टिबिया okay in this giant cell tumor it is seen in the age group of 20 to 40 years of age here this is a um tumor where you will see here the tumor is present which is eccentrically located so if you see if this is the uh one here you will see that there is uh tumor is eccentrically located which is giving the appearance of so bubble appearance is seen in giant cell tumor okay this giant cell tumor in the later stages it gives a type of calcification or crackling called as egg shell calcification is given so bubble appearance is seen and it is actually a pulsatile tumor where you see pulsations there are two types of cells which are seen in giant cell tumor one it is mononuclear stromal cells are present and we also have giant cells are present multinuclear giant cells and mononuclear stromal cells are also seen in giant cell tumor next how are you going to treat it this giant cell tumor has is a, is the most aggressive tumor so it will go on eating the bone and uh, it will expands maximally okay it can even uh, you know uh, expand in such a way that uh, the bone architecture can also be lost completely so this giant cell tumor is an aggressive tumor so if it is a benign lesion if it there is risk of malignancy is present for giant cell tumor that is almost 5 to 10% of malignant transformation can occur but if it is a benign tumor you can do just simple curettage can be done okay then curettage and grafting can be done then if it is in the around the knee okay if it is around the knee then you can do a hemicondylo osteo allo graft reconstruction can be done first you can remove the tumor okay and then you can do graft reconstruction can be done okay next uh so here because there is increased risk of malignant transformation in giant cell tumor we do not treat it with radiation now nowadays there is dadenosumab dadenosumab is actually the um dadenosumab is actually uh, the newer monoclonal antibody which will act on rank ligand because the, in the giant cell tumor the problem is in the osteoclasts okay there is actually in a giant cell tumor it is an osteoclastoma that means there is increased number of osteoclasts are seen so these osteoclasts will have multiple nuclei they will combine together to form a giant cell what is osteoclast osteoclast is actually the macrophage of the bone so as a result it will cause bone resorption it will remove the calcium and it will kill the cells so it causing bone resorption that is the reason on x ray you will see presence of lytic lesion because of decreased bone density there will be lytic expansile lesion which can be seen so because the osteoclasts will have rank ligand and they act through rank ligand you can give denosumab which is actually a rank ligand antagonist so you can give this number 2 sometimes you can also do extended curettage if you do an extended curettage you can also do bone grafting can also be done so this is about the giant cell tumor thank you thank you and thank you for watching